Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. I'm Ella. <laughs> Hold on, I just forgot to bring up my thing on my computer. Alright, welcome everyone. Welcome to all the new sus subscribers. I've noticed I've gotten quite a bit uh, over the last, you know, you know, whatever, the time period. It's just been gradually going up. Um, I have 305 right now, which is crazy. I didn't even think, you know, when I first started, I didn't even think I'd have like 20. Nonetheless, 305, which is awesome. And uh, I want to welcome everybody who's new. I don't I feel like the camera's pointed up really high. Sorry if it's a weird angle. I feel off. I feel like I've not done this for a year, and it's really only been a week. <laughs> Two weeks, maybe? I don't know. Last week I put out a video because I was sick. It was just like pictures and me talking and, and uh, stuff. Um, I had like a UTI from the underworld. It was the worst ever. I used to have them bad when I was young growing up and I hadn't really had one as an adult. Just like little tiny twinges of them that usually go away in a few days so I didn't worry about it and then it got really horrible, 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 horrible. It like, it became a kidney infection and it was, I was sick and throwing up and it was just, it was horrible. It lasted about a week and then finally the antibiotics helped, I guess. The antibiotics actually made me sicker, but then better. Either way, it's over with. I'm, ha I'm better. I'm fine. <laughs> um, I guess I'm back to normal. I don't know <laughs> what normal is. But uh, if you hear stuff in the background, Jesse's in the living room. Eyes bothering me. He's watching cartoons. I feel like my eyelashes are sticking together. Anyways, the last video that I put out was like little clips of Halloween and stuff. And as you saw, we were the visitor to Walls. So, um,. I'm going to show the stuff that I made for that first, and say the patterns, let's see here, uh, finished object, I finished this forever ago, I don't know, I talked about it briefly on one of the videos, but this is the hat I made for Devin, he was the scarecrow obviously, this pattern is called the wizard hat by Reckless Stitches, uh, I'll link it below, it's, I found it on Ravelry, I just, when I was looking for a hat to make Devin, at first I looked up scarecrow hat, but I couldn't find any of that, looked like a scarecrow hat that wasn't real kiddish or that I would have to mess with the pattern a lot and I somehow came across this wizard hat and I thought well you know just make it brown and add patches on it and it's a uh, scarecrow hat so that's what I did and then I just stuck some gold color yarn out between the patch stitches that's cute I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it now that Halloween is over I guess I can keep it and use it as decoration for autumn and you know stick it over something <laughs> or uh, he could be a scarecrow next year. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is a really simple pattern. It's free. Um, it's a free PDF, so I downloaded it and did it that way. And it's basically, it's just a hat, so it's not hard at all. And the pattern, I didn't have to adjust it to fit his head. His head is much bigger than mine. And this hat's loose on me, and it fit him pretty, pretty well. He didn't complain about it until it started getting hot. <laughs> but, um... That was the hat. That's all Red Heart Super Saver scraps, except this orange is that random orange I've been talking about for a year and a half. <laughs> I don't even know what brand it is, but it's just a random orange I've been using. Hi, Bugaboo. Video. Yeah, I'm filming a video. You want something? You want some cheese balls? You want some snacks? You want some chips? I may have just made a horrible mistake. I gave him a baggie of cheese balls. And he's probably going to uh, spill them everywhere, but eh. That's what brooms are for. Alright. Talked about that. Alright, the next thing I made for Halloween is I made, uh, I found this pattern just randomly. I think it was on Facebook or something. And it's called the Witch Leg Yarn Bomb. The person who made it just made it to like stick outside your house just you know, as a yarn bomb. But I made it to hang off of Jesse's stroller. Which we did. And it was just, it looks like the Wicked Witch of the West's feet when she gets squished by the house. So I had them just hanging off the back of a stroller. Um, I probably should have made them longer. But oh well. I have no idea what I'm going to use for these either after <laughs> now. I thought about maybe putting them on a reef, like making another Halloween themed reef and these hanging from it. But it's just Red Heart Super Saver too. <laughs> black, white, and some red color. 
is really bright red. I don't know if it's showing up as good as it is. What? Eat your cheese balls. What? Yeah. I'm talking. I'm filming. <coughs> Why are you so grumpy? Eat your cheese balls. Yeah. This little axe I made for Jesse because he was the Tin Man. And the Tin Man in the movie has an axe. Uh, this was made just out of my head. I looked at a couple patterns, but I, there wasn't really one that I liked, so I just made an axe. <laughs> I just made a handle. I was about to say pole, whatever. And uh, the head, axe head, I guess, and sewed it together. This is, um, this is not Red Heart. This is, I love this yarn. I don't remember the color. It's a gray, it's like a soft gray color. That's all the Halloween things I crocheted. Je uh, Jesse, Devin had a lot of yarn hanging from him to look like hay sticking off of him. But it was just yarn. <laughs> I made a lot of tassels. No. What about that? What, baby? Yeah. yeah, you can't come in here right now. You tear, you tear this room up if you came in here. Alright, my next finished object is part... I can't remember if this was finished last time. I may have showed it the last actual video. I can't remember. But it is a Tunisian um, dishcloth. It's tiny. After I finished it, I was like, it's small. But the um, first time I ever did Tunisian, I did it as part of a crochet along hosted by Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet and Claudia at Crochet Luna. Um, it's over now. It ended on Halloween. I did... I did finish this to get it entered. I just didn't win anything, but that's okay. Uh, it's very curly, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, it's going to be a dishcloth, so. Yeah, it was pretty fun to make. I can't find the pattern for this. I'll have to look, and then if I find it, it'll be linked below. If I don't, I didn't find it. But it's just, it's, it was just called the um, Simple Tunisian Stitch or something like that. And I guess it was just like the basic Tunisian Stitch back and forth. It was pretty fun. I liked it. It just it seemed really, really slow to me. But I like the way this part of it looks. This part kind of looks like knit. Uh, garter? I don't know. I don't know my knitting terms. Alright, my last finished object. I made this, um... I made this while I was sick, I'm pretty sure. Before it got horrible, but when I was still just blah. <laughs> um, I think I made this last Saturday or Sunday. And it's just made, it's a little bag, it's called um, Crochet in Public Bag. And the designer is Bethany Dearden. <laughs> It'll be linked. I'm pretty sure she's the one who runs, it's called like Whistle and Ivory or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But it's a bag that is meant to be like on your wrist with yarn in it while you crochet in it out of it. I made it on a whim. I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's cute. I'll make it out of some very good scraps because I have a lot of variegated scraps. This is Red Heart Super Saver. I think the colorway is Monet but I can't remember for sure. It's old. I've had this since... I've had this for years. Uh, I got interested for a little while into loom knitting and I bought a loom and I bought this yarn to make a scarf with it. Which I made a scarf with it and this was the leftover. This is just two little random balls left over. Um, I used almost all of it but like a smidge that went back into my scrap bucket. <laughs> But yeah, I like this bag. It's a pretty decent little size. And it, its pattern is super simple. You could easily make it much, much longer. Or deeper, I guess, so that you could use it for other things. I'm actually planning on making another one of those with some yarn that's in this bag right here. And I'll talk about that in just a second. But I already saw what that is. It'll be linked below. Alright, that's all my finished objects, I think. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know. Could be. I don't know. It's been a while. We'll get into whips. Alright. The first one on the list. It's not that one. Baby Shark. It's one of his favorite songs. I don't know if you heard him laugh, but there's a little song that comes on called Baby Shark. And they do 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 in it. <laughs> he just loves the way they do 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 do. I don't know what that's called. Alright. My first whip. I actually have it worked on him in a few days. Because I've been working on a crochet along. His hook's down inside of him. Santa! This is how much I have done of Santa and his arms still. I still have not stuffed these and I'm procrastinating so long it's going to be hard to 
to stuff them. But as you can see, I got his legs and his belly done. I'm getting really close to where I would start. Um, I will decrease down, and then when I go back up, it'll be in skin color. What? Go eat your cheese balls and let mama film. Oh. Yeah, what do you want? That's mama's jacket. You don't need it. Oh, hold on. Here, let me. Mama don't care. Anyway, back to Santa. It's a uh, giant amigurumi. <laughs> it's called the Santa Amigurumi by Mary Smith. Um, it's paid for pattern. I'm pretty sure I got it for free because she gives away codes a lot, but she always has either free pattern codes or discount codes or, you know, something. There's always a way to get her patterns for cheaper or free. He's still attached to my jumbo red heart. I think this is called cherry red and then black and his mittens is some green color. They're all red heart. I know that for sure because it's out of my scrap jug. Jug. Tote. Uh, what I was saying. Yeah, I'm getting close to where I decreased to where his shoulders would be. And then I will attach his arms and make his head. I love the way her patterns do that. Her patterns, they're almost all completely attached. You just have to sew on like a few things. Uh, and then he has a coat. And then I gotta make a uh, white. What are they called? Cuffs for around his feet, around his wrists, uh, belt buckle. Just a few little add-on things and stuff them. <laughs> but these patterns, her patterns actually go really quickly when you can sit down and work on them. I would probably already be done with him if I hadn't gotten sick. But getting sick put me really behind on the crochet along that was going on at the time. And then Santa, and then now there's a new crochet along going on. But, um, yeah. Let me put his hook back in so I don't lose it. I gotta get better at remembering to stuff my amigurumis while I make them instead of waiting until I'm almost done with them. <laughs> Alright, my next whip I was just working on before I started filming. It's in my bag that I made. My skeleton bag. Let's see here. This is all I have done of it so far. It's an arm and a hand. And then I got the other hand and I'm working on the other arm. This is another, this is another Mary Smith pattern. It is the Christmas Elf Amigurumi. It's a pay for pattern, but it's 30% off right now because it is the new crochet along that she's hosting this month. Um, just watching, you know, make sure something's always not supposed to. Uh, what was I saying? Elf. Yes. The first week needs to be done this Saturday, so I gotta finish those arms, make the little cuffy things, and his feet. That's the first week's. Uh, list <laughs> but uh yeah so I'm gonna have the elf and the Santa and I'm gonna try to if I get done with Santa soon I'm gonna try to make Mrs. Claus real fast just so I can use them as decoration speaking of decoration I've already put up my Halloween decorations and I've got some Christmas stuff out and a turkey wreath because <laughs> Thanksgiving Thanksgiving. <laughs> all right uh I didn't talk about the elf right this isn't a whip per se I haven't actually started it yet but this is the yarn that I'm going to make another one of these bags with. This is Painted Canyon by uh, Hobby Lobby's. I love this yarn. I love this yarn, for real. Not just the brand. I love the way it feels, and I love the Painted Canyon uh, colorway, which was huge for a while. Everybody wanted it. And so I bought some when it was huge, and I just, I'm going to make that bag, I think. Maybe. I don't know for sure. It's also living in one of my bags that I made, and it's just the Halloween cats. Alright, my last whip. Some of you may be interested to know that I have finally started back work on my grease blanket. I feel like, uh, let's see, was it last night? Yeah, last night I sat down and I did crochet, I don't know, maybe like seven inches onto this. Plus I weaved, weaved? Wove. I wove in. I weaved in all the um, the ends. Let's see here. So I got all of greased. And then how much? That. He just spilled something. 
That'd be all right. I'm gonna clean it up in a little bit. Uh, what was I saying? I had ends all the way up to like right here that I had to weave in last night. I wove in like a million ends, but I wanted to weave them all in except for then I worked on it a little bit more <laughs> and had more ends because I didn't want to wait to the end and then weave in a bajillion ends. So I thought I'd weave in a few hundred right now and. And then I'm going to work on it a little, and then we bend, and then we're going to move in. You pour them out? Yeah, that's so fun, isn't it? I'm so smiley. But I'm almost done with this. I've got, I've got about maybe this much more to add to here. So I'm like three-fourths of the way done with this big old banner. There is another banner this size, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm not sure how many of the squares I'm going to make. I'm just going to make the ones I like and then see how big of a blanket that'll make. I've had to make a lot of times. But uh, that is the Grease Crochet Along. It's a corner to corner. It's a paid for pattern. I'll link it below. Um, the Crochet Along is technically over. But, you know, I have the pattern so I'm going to keep making it. And people are still posting in the group because, like, only two people finished it on time. <laughs> Life happens and this blanket is ginormous. I have already found another corner to corner that I want to make. That's by Chaos and Chop Suey, by the way, but it'll be linked below. I found another corner to corner that is made by, I can't remember the name, I think it's Donna Beavers. I can't, don't quote me on that though, I can't remember. But it's the woman who makes all the cuddlers, like the s'more cuddler I made. I can't remember her name. But she made, she is in the process of making a Grey's Anatomy themed corner to corner and I've, every week that she lets one of the patterns out I've been going ahead and downloading it and putting it on a folder in a folder on my computer because I want to make that when I finish the Grey's one. So it probably won't be until next year but I do want to make it because I love Grey's Anatomy. I'm actually rewatching it. I just started it. I'm on season two now. Again. Because <laughs> uh, I love that show. That's one of those shows that I can watch over and over and not get tired of it. Although, spoiler alert, <laughs> If you are watching it and haven't gotten all the way done with it, mute it for a minute or click off for a second. When it, well, I won't say names. When a specific person dies in season, I think it's 11, I don't watch it anymore. I watched the season that came out after that and it just wasn't the same after that person died that I had no interest in it. So after he is ripping something up, the box, eh. <laughs> um, after this certain person dies, I have no interest in the show. So I actually I don't plan on watching the new season that they just put out on uh, Netflix or 12. I think he, he dies in 11. And then 12 and 13 I have no interest in. I don't even care. It's just over after that. <laughs> Anyways, back to the grease. It's in my snappy bag, which is a crochet pattern, as you can tell. I'm not 100. Let me go look real fast. I don't know if it, mm, it's not available anymore. Sorry. I guess I'll delete that off of my thing. This was a limited edition pattern by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots. I got it from buying one of her, um, what are they called? Kits or something like that, where you get a couple patterns and stuff. But, uh, it's not available anymore. But if you like it, go ahead and go to your Ravelry page and add it to your favorites or something. And it'll probably come available soon because that's typically how people do with patterns. They retire them and then a little while later they bring them out of retirement and have like a discount code. And it's to make it more wanted. What is, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But it's like Mandala Yarn, you know. Only a few Walmarts had it, so everybody wanted it. And then after it sold out, everybody, every Walmart has it now. So that's the whole point. It's like a marketing scheme. To get people to go buy it all. All right, that is all the crochet. I think. Now acquisitions. I have no crochet-related acquisitions per se. Uh, technically, these that I'm about to show you are crochet-related. Where's the other hat one? Oh, there it is. I got some fat quarters on Walmart's uh, Halloween clearance, just like the ones that I made. The cat bag and this and candy corn. Although they didn't have any of the candy corn when I went to look. I did get two more of the cat ones. Which I think I already have two more. Oh, one more. But I got two more cat ones. I got two that have um, witches hats and moons and like brooms and things on. 
and I got two, uh, I got all the ones that they had, by the way, <laughs> I got two, it's just like Halloween words, it says Happy Halloween, Scary, Skeleton, Boo, things like that, and it's got little skeletons and stuff on it, and then I got four, these are really cute, <laughs> they got candies on them, like hard candies, and it says Trick or Treat, and just little candies, it's just cute. I will be making bags out of these. Maybe a bag, because there's a bucket bag. I, I mentioned it in my last actual video. That I'm going to try to make, and it takes six fat quarters, I think the pattern says. It's over there. But these, they were 97 cents, but they were on clearance for 50 cents. They're supposed to be half off, but I wasn't going to raise cane over it, the specifics. But, um... Either way, now Walmart has a ton of Christmas ones, and I want them all. My sister bought me some that y'all saw two videos ago. I never said what episode number this is. I don't even know. I'll have to, it'll be in the, the, the title. It's like 16, 15? I don't know. My only other acquisition, again, is not uh, related to crochet at all, but it makes me happy. And it's this awesome mug. Or it's called a Stein. This is handmade... Uh, pottery, I don't know the slang, in a local shop here in my area, um, I don't know if you can see that at all, but it says Sparta where, Sparta is the city I live in, and it says handmade in Sparta, Tennessee, and it's got the, you know, all the numbers and the person who made it, it's initials, which is either T-W, T-H-W or H-M, I can't tell by the, <laughs> I don't know. 2017. But anyways, if you don't know what this is, that's the Predators. It's the Tennessee hockey team, which I love hockey. I would choose hockey over any sport ever created, ever, period. And this is, they won the Western Conference this year, which is pretty freaking amazing. And then they made it to the freaking Stanley Cup and almost won it over the stupid Penguins, but the Penguins won. And granted, they are a really good team, but Predators kicked butt this year. Anyways, <laughs> it's, it's, commemorating that and the back has some of the colors of the predator team but the Facebook page for the store that the people make this at it's like a local it's an artist place like the people who own it make pottery stuff all kinds of really neat stuff I love that store but they also sell stuff from other local artists they have they actually have some knitted and crochet stuff in there and all kinds of dishes and art things paintings any kind of low you know art they sell local Art. <laughs> um, is it fun? But I won this. They had a Facebook giveaway. Like, if you like and share their picture, you could win one of these. And I won one. And I was so happy because I've been wanting one of these for forever. Not specifically a Predator one. Just one of their cups in general. And the Hold on. Mama's almost done. I'm almost done. Then I'll come in there and play with you. Yeah. We can eat some chips. Do you eat your cheese balls or just... I hope he didn't spell them. Yeah, go go look at the animals. They're saying cluck, cluck, cluck. Anyways, I've been wanting one of these forever, and they're $45, which is a lot of money for a cup. But I understand why they're $45, because, I mean, they're handcrafted. Hold on, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, yeah. But it's so beautiful. I can't wait to use it. And the inside's even pretty. I don't know anything about pottery, but it's just so pretty. And I asked them when I went to pick it up after I won it <laughs> if I needed to take care of any special one. They told me I can, it's dishwasher safe and everything. I just probably shouldn't put it in the microwave because there's so much black clay. I don't know if that's right. That there's a lot of iron in it and it, I guess it could mess, you know, it could metal and microwave does not mix. <laughs> but I love it. I, they had three that I could choose from and I chose this one. I just, I loved that they had the blue and the yellow. That's the team colors. It's like a gold and royally blue. I just love this cup. I can't wait to use it. I haven't used it yet. I've only had it for two days. I'm just looking at it and loving on it. I smell it. It smells It smells like you would think it would smell. But I love this cup. I can't wait to use it. It's ginormous. I will be drinking tea out of that. But um, I did not realize how big it was when I seen it on Facebook. <laughs> I was thinking like coffee mug but it's a stein which I should have known that it was bigger with it being a stein. I think those are meant to drink beer out of. But oh well. I think that's everything. I guess let me take this off the description real fast. It's a snappy bag. Well, I'll leave it because you can go add it to your favorites and then it might 
become available again. Also, the Droxus Dream. Oh, I am going to put a P.O. box down in the description. I don't want you guys to send me anything or anything like that, so don't think that. Two, there's multiple reasons. One reason we, I have a P.O. box is because, one, I don't hardly get any mail at all. And the mail that I do get, I don't want coming to our house address because the mailboxes that they provide are real shabby. And I don't trust it. So that's why we have P.O. box. <laughs> um, for all the mail we get, our only mail we get is I get coupons from Kroger and our electric bill. That's pretty much the only mail we ever get. Other than like random junk, you know, coupons from McDonald's or whatever. But, um... I'm putting it down there because um, I used to have pen pals when I was an uh, older teenager, early 20s, and I loved it. I loved having people to actually physically write a letter to and send you know, letters back and forth. So I thought if anyone was interested in that, there it is. Send me a letter and I will respond. I will promise to respond because I love writing and getting and receiving mail. It's like the best thing ever. That's one thing I hate about technology is everybody wants to email and stuff and I hate that. I want a physical letter. Every physical letter and card that I get, I keep. I have a box full of letters and cards from like my whole entire life because it's it's cool. But um, that'll be down there. It's just a P.O. box so I'm not giving away any information. <laughs> Uh, my Ravelry group, my Ravelry page, and my Instagram are all linked below. My Instagram I'm most active on. I haven't really been active on it lately because I've been sick, but I do post stuff that I'm crocheting or sewing, <laughs> the little bit of sewing I do. And I do share giveaways constantly on there because there's a lot of giveaways on Instagram, and I want to try to win it, and you might want to try to win it too. But, yeah, I think that's everything. I need to get off here and edit this video because there's a lot of interruptions from a certain toddler who made a ginormous mess that I can see. I'm really hoping those cheese balls are not all over the living room. Oh, I wonder if you can see this from here. Over on my couch. Ignore all the crap. <laughs> my Scandinavian snowflake blanket. I crocheted that. Um... Two years ago, when I was pregnant. Yeah, it was like De uh, December 2015 into January 2016. Is that right? Yes, that's when I was pregnant. That wasn't two years ago, that was like a year ago. No, it wasn't. I don't know what I'm saying. It was two years ago. Yes, it was. Because it's 2017. <laughs> Anyways, I made that while I was pregnant. It's a bunch of motifs and then sewed together. I think the crochet crowd put that out around the same time that they put out the peppermint throw, which I really want to make peppermint throw. But because of the grease blanket, I don't want red and white anything right now. And this is Deja Vu. I already talked about all this. Uh, yeah. I also have my Christmas pudding is in the, um... Surprise! My memory card got full and shut off. I wish somebody would beep when it does that. For some reason, it allows me to film for 23 minutes in a row, and apparently I babbled for a really long time. However, I did not know that until about 10 minutes after it quit recording, so I babbled. All you missed was me babbling about a giveaway that I want to have after the New Year and Thanksgiving <laughs> plans. Oh yeah, he didn't spill his cheese balls because he's eating them now. Anyways, I'm going to hop off of here and go clean up the living room because he did make a mess, I can see it. And edit this and get it all done and try to finish before it cuts off on me again. But, um... I will see you guys next week. Thank you all for subscribing and liking and commenting. I love comments. I love talking. That's another reason with the P.O. Box. You know, I love getting to know people. And as a stay-at-home mom, it's kind of hard to make friends in the real world. <laughs> so it's, the more uh, communication I have with the outside world, the better. <laughs> but, um, so if you're interested, just send me a letter or a card or, you know, whatever. Or send me a message on here or whatever, and I will, you know, we'll talk about it. Whatever. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to hop off here and take care of my son and clean up that mess and hopefully finish that elf uh, arm, at least. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next week. Um, I guess that's everything. Bye. <laughs>